Hi all. In this video, we are going to see a new flow feature released by Salesforce as part of Winter 24 release. Now, with this release, we will be able to add custom error messages as part of record triggered flows. This is available in both before and after save flows. Now, let us explain this feature using two examples. One is a before save scenario and second one is a after save scenario. In the before save, the scenario is that whenever an account is getting deactivated, we need to add a validation to see if there are any active accounts, active contacts under that particular account. If there is active contacts, then the account deactivation should be failed. For that, first we need to actually create a field under contact called active because in account we already have active field which is a standard one so in contact also i have created an active checkbox which is going to tell us like whether the contact is active or not now coming back to the flow this is a record triggered flow and it is following fast field update also we have got two conditions as part of this particular flow entry criteria that is whenever the active field on account is getting updated and the current value of active field is flow of false that means the account is getting deactivated if the criteria is getting satisfied then we have a query here to check and see if there are any active contacts under that particular account so this is the criteria we are fetching all the active contacts under that particular account and we have got a decision element here which is actually checking if the get contacts active contact is not empty if that is the case here we are adding an error component so i will quickly show you like when we are when you are clicking on add element now you will be able to see we can add a custom error component so that's what i used here let us edit this and see the details. So when you edit this, you can see this is how the error details looks like. Where to show the error message, we have got two options like we are adding in an Apex trigger. Like either it can be on the page level or it can be added to a specific field. In this case, I am adding this error, messages, error message to the account active field itself. And here we, we, we can add the custom error message. So here I have added an error message that you cannot deactivate this account as there are active contacts under this account. So these are the details for this flow. Now let us execute this and see like if we are able to see the custom error message on the screen. So this is a sample or test account that I created and we also got a contact here. Let me quickly open that contact and uh, let me show you that the is active value on this contact is true. Now I am going back to the account and in account basically we can see the active pick list. Now let me edit this and make the value as no and try to save this record. Now you can see it is showing the custom error message that we added as part of the flow. And since we have added it directly to the field, we will be able to see the details as part of the field itself. So this is a before save scenario. Now let us move to an after save scenario. So I got another flow which is on opportunity so my scenario is that whenever an opportunity is getting created i need to create a new task and assign that to the opportunity owner now to generate an error during this creation i actually added a validation rule on task which is to make sure that the task type should be populated now let me open the flow for task creation this is again a record triggered flow but this is an after flow and in this we do not have any criteria, but whenever a new opportunity is getting created, I got a create task action. And if you go to this action, we can see 
I am adding owner ID priority and subject only. So basically I am keeping type as empty so that whenever this action is getting executed, an error will be happening at the back end. Now, how we will be able to add custom error messages to this? Uh, I hope all of you know that whenever an action is getting executed, we will be able to add a fault path to that. That is here you will be able to see default, uh, a fault path addition option. And there we will be able to add an, a custom error element. And this custom error element, what we are doing is simply adding an error message. And this error message is at the record level. And the error message that I added here is task creation to owner got failed. And along with that, uh, this is a standard flow variable that is fault message. Whenever an exception is happening within a flow, all the details related to that exception will be available as part of the fault message. So I am appending that to the error message. This is what our flow is doing. Now let us go back to uh, the screen and try to create an opportunity. So I am creating a new opportunity called uh, demo opportunity and I have another violation to make sure that the type field should be populated. I am just populating all the required field values and also I am populating the stage. Now let me try to save this opportunity. Now we can see it, it is displaying an error message and the error message details tells task creation to owner fail. This is the custom message we added and that is appended with the fault error message. So this way we will be able to easily add custom error messages to a particular flow execution. Thank you for watching this video.